I'm going to go through a recipe for lasagna. Chicken um, Alfredo spinach lasagna. Super delicious. Now, I'll go through the ingredients first. First thing you'll need, of course, is lasagna noodles. These are uncooked lasagna noodles. I, in my cabinet, did not have lasagna noodles in a box. I just had taken them out the box. I think the box fell apart, so I used the lasagna noodles that I had put in a plastic baggie. I had a total of 10 noodles. I, I used all 10 noodles for this particular recipe. What I'll do is I'll go over all the ingredients that I used for this recipe um, first. Now I'm not one to gather all the pans and ingredients first before I cook, but in case you are, I'll give you everything ahead of time. So 10 lasagna noodles, okay? You also need chopped spinach and you need here, this is a 16 ounces of frozen chopped spinach, okay? What you also need is ricotta cheese, okay? And you need 32 ounces of ricotta cheese. You need two cans, 15 ounce cans of Alfredo sauce. It's interesting because Alfredo sauce used to be 16 ounces and it's now 15 ounces, but we have no choice. So you need two 15 ounce cans of Alfredo sauce, one, two. You also need some pepper, some salt, okay? Now, I bought four things of cheese, okay? I bought Parmigiano and Romano cheese blend. I bought an Italian blend and I bought two um, mozzarella cheese blends. Now it ends up, I only used, I'm sorry, I only used, I bought four total, but I only used three for this particular recipe, okay? So I bought Parmesan and Romano cheese blend. I bought an Italian blend, blend of cheese, and I bought a mozzarella cheese blend, okay? The other thing that I bought was chicken breasts, boneless, skinless, diced chicken breasts, okay? The other thing that you need is oil. In this particular case, I used grape seed oil. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is kind of show you pictures of the process, okay? So once again, I used 10 um, lasagna noodles, okay? But going to our next picture, you want to cook your lasagna noodles. Boil water, okay? Add some salt to your boiling water, or, or add salt to your pot that you're going to boil, okay? In this particular case, you see I turned it on, you know, number eight, close to high, in order for my water to boil. Here, my water is boiling. Now this water is for my lasagna noodles, okay? Once my water started boiling, I started adding my noodles. Now to cook the noodles, you basically want to follow the directions on the box. Of course, I didn't have a box. So this is what I did, is I had added the water to the um, pot, and then added some salt, and then I added my noodles. Now, if you notice, I added one. Crisscrossed, I added another. Crisscrossed, I added another. I didn't add them flat on top of one another. I crisscrossed them. That way they wouldn't be stuck to one another. Crisscross, added another, added another, until all the noodles were in the pot, crisscrossing them, like I said, so they wouldn't be stuck together. So I boiled all of my noodles, okay? Once they were boiling, once they were all in, um, then I did cut the heat down and I cooked them nine to 10 minutes until they were done. Okay, 
Then I moved on and I got my cast iron skillet. Oh, I forgot to tell you the pots that you're gonna need. Okay, the pots that you're gonna need for this particular recipe. In this particular case, a cast iron skillet. Okay, newly washed, that's why it's wet. <laughs> okay, you need a nine by 12 baking dish. Okay, glass, but I hope you can see it. You need a bowl. Okay, glass, but I hope you can see it. Um, spatula. Um, I, I used a slotted spoon, and then I also used this wooden spoon, okay? But if we go back to our um, cast iron skillet or any other type of skillet, what we're going to work with now is our chicken breast, okay? So you're going to add to the skillet a little bit of grapeseed oil, okay? Pour the grapeseed oil into your skillet. There you go. Mm, I don't know, a couple tablespoons into your into your skillet. Here is my chicken breast, diced skinless bone chicken breast. Add that to my skillet where I've added the oil, okay? Add a little salt to the chicken breast. Add a little pepper to the chicken breast for seasoning, okay? Go check on my noodles, <laughs> stir them a little bit, make sure they're okay. Then pull out my glass bowl, okay? Meanwhile, I've added my chicken breast to my skillet. Also, then I go back and add a little bit of oil. You can kind of see it there. I've added some oil to my glass pan, okay? Meanwhile, my chicken breasts are cooking. There, you see my noodles are kind of basically done at this point, okay? When my noodles are done, I take them out and I've drained them now at this point in the sink. So all you see are the noodles without the water, okay? What I've now done is I've taken the drained noodles and placed them in the nine by 12 dish, okay? Now remember the dish already has oil in it, okay? But what I'm gonna do now is add a little bit of oil to the top of the noodles. Now the reason I do that is because if you add oil to the noodles, that keeps the noodles from sticking together. And that's helpful because um, I'm going to need to use these noodles and make sure that I can separate them to actually make the lasagna um, once I get all the other ingredients together, okay? so. Um, I put oil on my noodles that makes them a little slippery, keeps them from um, sticking together, okay? And they'll just remain in the pan until I'm ready for them. Back to my chicken. My chicken is in the skillet with the oil. Uh, okay, it's cooking. You notice I've separated the pieces so that they're not all together and they're cooking nicely with the salt and the pepper, okay? I continue to cook them until they're nice and brown. But the other thing that I've done, these are diced pieces, okay, of chicken, and that's what it says, okay? However, my pieces were a little bit large. Now, if something is diced, it could be anywhere from a quarter inch to a half an inch to uh, three quarters inch. So, but since this is going into um, a lasagna casserole. I don't want the pieces to be too big, so what I do is I actually make the, the, the pieces a little bit smaller. So that's where I took my spatula and I actually um, split up the pieces so that the pieces were a little bit smaller. The dice pieces were not the three-quarter um, pieces, but they were actually smaller, okay? Um, so they, uh, the chicken is smaller, diced pieces. Now, moving to the spinach. We have the frozen spinach, and I actually forgot to show it to you, but we actually need another pan, okay? And here's another pan that I pulled out to cook the spinach. And then what I did is add a little oil to the spinach pan, okay? The pan that I'm gonna cook the spinach in, okay? 
There I am adding the oil to the spinach okay, uh, pan, okay? Then I add the spinach to it, okay? So the spinach would not burn, okay? Here I am cooking the spinach. So the spinach wouldn't burn. Um, I actually added a little bit of water to it as the spinach is cooking so it wouldn't stick to the pan. So I cooked the spinach until it was done, okay? Meanwhile, while the spinach is cooking, I pulled out my ricotta cheese, okay? And with my ricotta cheese, I put that in a bowl, okay? I did say that you're gonna need a bowl, okay? So you put the ricotta cheese in a bowl, okay? And I just kind of flattened it out because I am gonna mix something in the ricotta cheese, okay? Meanwhile, going back to the spinach, okay? Now, the spinach naturally, because it's frozen, has water in it, and I did add a little bit of water to it as well so that it wouldn't stick to the pan, but um, I need to drain the water out of the spinach. So, like I told you, I used a slotted spoon, a spoon with holes in it, okay? And then I also have this um, wooden spoon. So what I do in order to drain the water out of the spinach is I put a spoonful, ah, whoop, put a spoonful, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. <laughs> okay, sorry about this, technical difficulties. Put a spoonful of spinach in the, in the slotted spoon, okay? And then I used the slotted spoon basically to drain out the um, water from the spinach, okay? So I used the two spoons together to drain out the water. And then spoonful by spoonful, I added the spinach to the ricotta cheese, okay? So I added the spinach to the ricotta cheese and as I would add the spoonfuls, okay um, I would stir it up so here the two spoons that I use the slotted spoon I would take a spoonful of spinach and the wooden spoon I would use to squeeze down the water out of the spinach through the water would drain out of the spinach through the slots of the spoon okay there I am stirring the spinach into the ricotta cheese spinach into the ricotta cheese Back to my noodles, okay. Once again, my noodles have oil on them so they're not gonna stick. My chicken is done and put to the side. Diced mm, between a, qu a quarter inch and a half an inch pieces. Now let's go to our, our Fredo sauce. Our, our Fredo sauce is going to meet up with the chicken. So what I do is I add my Alfredo sauce to the chicken and stir it up. The Alfredo sauce goes with the chicken, just like the spinach went with the ricotta cheese. At this point, I turn my oven on, 350 degrees, okay? 350 degrees preheated oven for the lasagna. Now, I took my noodles out of the pan that I'm gonna cook them in and I put them on a plate. They're not sticking together though because remember, I added the oil to them, okay? Now, here is my um, plate that I'm gonna cook the lasagna in. I've already added oil to the plate so I don't need to add oil to the serving dish, okay? There's my ricotta cheese and spinach. There's my chicken and Alfredo sauce. Here are my four cheeses, of which I'm only gonna use three. There's my Alfredo sauce. I take three of the lasagna noodles and I add them to the bottom of the greased serving dish, nine by 12, give or take, okay? Then on top of the three, lasagna noodles, I add all of the Alfredo and chicken sauce. I add the chick Alfredo and chicken, the, the diced chicken and Alfredo sauce mixture, all of it on top of the three lasagna noodles. 
Next, I added one bag, one full bag of cheese on top of the chicken and Alfredo mix, okay? One whole bag. Then, as you notice, on top of that cheese, I added four lasagna noodles. Now, like I said, in this particular instance, I cooked a total of 10 noodles, okay, not just nine. I guess it just seemed right to put the 10 in order to fully cover um, the the full tray at this particular point. I don't know if the tray widened out or whatever, but um, I used four lasagna noodles so that the cheese and the Alfredo sauce and chicken was fully covered. On top of those four lasagna noodles, I put all of the um, ricotta cheese and a spinach mixture. Okay, so the whole thing, spread it out so it's nice and even, and it's all covered. Then at this point, I put one whole jar of, excuse me, one half jar of Alfredo sauce. Okay, I'm sorry. A half a jar of Alfredo sauce on top of the ricotta cheese and spinach mixture half a jar of Alfredo sauce on top of the ricotta and spinach mixture. Then I put another bag of cheese on top of the Alfredo sauce, okay? Then I put on top of there the three noodles that were left over and the rest of the Alfredo sauce. That would be the other half jar of Alfredo sauce, okay? So that was the, the noodles and then the other half jar of the Alfredo sauce. Finally, on top goes the one packet or the final packet of cheese, which is our third cheese blend. Now you can put the cheeses on in any combination um, that you'd like, but the final cheese blend goes on top, okay? And so this is your completed mixture. So now what I did is you notice here around the edges, there's kind of cheese sticking out things like that. So I kind of cleaned it up a little bit so that there'd be no cheese on the edge, okay? Because that way I wouldn't have burnt cheese um, because anything that's hanging on the edge or the outer rims, of course, is gonna burn more readily, okay? So I just kind of cleaned it up before I put it into the oven, and meaning cleaning up the, um, the dish that's going to go into the oven. Okay, put it into the 350 degree oven. Here it goes. Once again, a little technical difficulty. <laughs> oh, there we are. Put it into the oven for 50 minutes. Put it on for 50 minutes. It can go for possibly 50 to 60 minutes, but I put the timer on for 50 minutes. That way at 50 minutes, I would check it. If it's not browned and bubbly at 50 minutes, then I could cook it an additional 10 minutes. My particular oven at 50 minutes, it was done. But every oven is different, so just please be aware. Your oven may cook or finish it at 50 minutes, or it may finish it at 60 minutes. But check it at 50 minutes, 350 degrees. Here it is finished. Lovely, nice and brown. 
and here it is half eaten <laughs> you notice there that the top of it is has a lovely brown it's not overcooked by any means you see that layer of spinach that is there and boy was it yummy so I'll include the ingredients inside the memo for this video if you have any questions feel free to contact me um, once again the ingredients for this recipe were 16 ounces of spinach 10 lasagna noodles 32 ounces of ricotta cheese 4 8 ounces um, containers of uh, shredded cheese a combination of Parmesan Roman and Romano and Italian style cheese blend and mozzarella cheese or whichever one you'd like that would be three eight ounces two 15 ounces of Alfredo sauce salt and pepper you need chicken breasts boneless skinless diced approximately one pound and a quarter and you need some oil and you need two pans you need a 9 by 12 inch serving dish to cook in you need a bowl you need a slotted spoon an extra spoon and some other utensils to cook with so that's basically about what you need to make some yummy lasagna. It was very good. I hope you enjoy the recipe. Okay, bye.